What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Thank you for joining me on another credit card video. In this one, I want to kind of focus more on credit card churning. And the reason why I want to focus on credit card churning is because there's a lot of people who may have one thing but don't have the other, right? Uh, you may be a, a family that is in a tough situation right now and maybe Christmas presents um, that you want to buy you might not be able to buy those things. And obviously, you shouldn't spend money that you really don't have, but it's always great to make, you know, a child really really happy and find a way to, you know, get something that they really want. Now, there are ways to where, you know, you can just make more money um, or try to make more money or spend less money there and and all that stuff, which is always great as well. But I want to focus on something that maybe some people haven't explored and if you're not careful, it could get you in trouble, but if you are careful, then you might just be able to gain a little bit of extra money out of it. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos, and also make sure you guys check me out on Rumble. I'm uploading uh, different credit card content on Rumble as well, uh, as well as my um, main like crypto and investing stuff if you guys wanna check that out. But let's talk about this because credit card churning is the art of trying to grab bonuses in credit cards um, if you have the credit to do so. So if you were you know, so lucky enough to have an amazing credit score, and obviously it takes a lot of work, it's not about luck, but you were able to work up to a point where you have a decent credit score to where you can apply for different credit cards, but you really only have one credit card. You know, you really didn't want to make it difficult on yourself by managing multiple credit cards or anything like that. Understandable. Um, let's say you are struggling financially, though, where you can't really put Christmas presents underneath the tree. Well, you could find a way to do that through credit card churning through your normal spending. And that's only if it goes through your normal spending. You know, that's why I say that it could get you in trouble because if you decide to like really push to reach that spend, whatever that spend is, it may get you in a lot of trouble there to where you're just spending extra and you might as well have just spent your regular money rather than you know trying to get this bonus. So what I'm suggesting in a way and what I've been doing you know, pretty much for my in, entire family's life, you know, since Harper was born is try and churn some credit cards during the holiday season or close to the holiday season as I can have you know multiple hundreds of dollars in order to spend on Christmas presents. Now I know as the children get older, you know you end up spending a lot more money on technology and all these things that they really do want and that's where it starts to get pricey. When the younger years are here, it's like everything is five dollars and ten dollars and I mean it doesn't seem like anything is that cheap anymore but uh, everything is cheap because you're just buying like cheap toys that they may play with a couple of times and then forget about but when they get older obviously you need something where you're getting a little bit more right you're spending a little bit more so it may be like an oculus quest 3 or a ps5 or, or something like that right so what I've done is there's so many different bonuses that are out there with American Express, with Chase, with Bank of America, with uh, Capital One, with all of them that you can see maybe a $200 bonus for spending um, or a $150 bonus for spending like $500 in your first three months, um, you know, or seeing a $200 bonus for spending $500 in your first three months. It's like, that's what you can end up receiving. And for me, I've received a couple of bonuses. Obviously, I don't really need to do that, but it always does help to be able to have that extra. That you really don't have to worry about that digging into your normal spending um, at all. So let's say you do have a $500 a month budget on groceries. Well, you take that $500, you put it onto the Chase Freedom Flex card, and now you're going to get a $200 bonus, which means that you can spend $200 on any Christmas presents that you really want, right? Same thing goes for the um, Capital One Quicksilver card. You may get $150 or $200 or whatever the bonus is at that time. So my suggestion is that you explore that, right? I'm not saying that you have to spend frivolously on credit cards. Do it for your normal spending. 
grocery gro- grocery purchases or um you know, maybe you have a, a gas bill that you can pay in a credit card. It might cost you an extra fee or something, uh, but maybe you have a gas bill or maybe you have um, something else, right? Gas for yourself, like gas for your car. Uh, so, so many different things that you can use those credit cards for or that credit card for that can give you that spending. And then afterwards, you really don't have to use it if you don't want to, or you can just buy a pack of gum with it. Ultimately, that will improve your credit score anyways, because it gives you that higher um, you know, line of credit. So your utilization is down, right? So anyways, I just wanted to make a video talking about that because I thought it was an interesting concept and that I always find myself using points during the holiday season, using cash back during the holiday season, because I give myself the opportunity to do that. But, uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys check out my rumble link that's down below. If you guys want more rumble content or more credit card content, if you are watching on rumble, I appreciate it, but, uh, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.